Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Scorpios. And this is going to be for the second, from the 2nd to the 8th of April. I will be using my Affirmators Tarot deck. And to clarify, I'll be using my Clarity Tarot deck. <laughs> so, Scorpio, let's see what messages we have for you. So Scorpio, this is for you. The seven of wands, you're above your challenges. The ace of wands, something coming fast, some kind of new beginning with something. The 10 of cups, happiness. The five of swords, some kind of arguments, conflict, but you don't have to partake, you know. You could always choose to back up. The Knight of Wands, some kind of message coming to you. The Nine of Cups, a new beginning. The Tower. Something is going to cause a little chaos and confusion. It's going to feel like everything tumbled down. But remember, it's part of life. We have come, we have the good, we have the bad, we have the ups and the downs, the highs and the lows. The thing is, when we have a little down, a tower moment, don't stay there too long, okay? Try to bring yourself back up. And sent to you. You have control over that. It's not going to last too long. You get the strength card. You got a lot of inner courage. And you got the three of swords. So. What I would say. Just from here. Somebody, somebody, this is three-way relationship. There's some kind of broken heart. Um, so let's see, let's, we're going to start with the seven of wands here. Your challenges that you are above. I saw something go like that just now. The world card and the ace of swords. Something came to completion in a good way. You attained your goals and you're going to have clarity about something. Some kind of clarity. Hold on one moment. Sorry about that. The conversation was just going a little too loud. So, okay. So, um, the Ace of Swords.
you're going to have some clarity, some new communication, something new, a new beginning, the Ace of Wands, new job. It could also be fertility. And if you look at these little, um, these little... Love cups, <laughs> these little octopuses. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so whatever is coming fast, it got you a little tied up. Um, I do see a fire energy, masculine fire energy in your environment here. Um, this could be, this is the king of wands and it could be a Leo, a Sagittarius or an Aries. The person has a lot of passion, you know, they're very passionate. And also, they might give you some inspiration because right now you're pretty tied up about whatever new beginning is coming. They might be giving you some kind of inspiration. Because you are very tied up. You feel trapped. You have fear within you. Hey, the King of Wands could be you going after a new job, but you... Kind of scared, maybe, of change. But don't be, if that's the case. Because you got the Ten of Cups here. You got the Knight of Pentacles on top of that. And you got the Three of Pentacles. Go for it. Don't let your fear hold you back. This is about career, okay? And the universe is building something good for you. Some kind of collaboration or partnership, teamwork. So the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles on top of the Ten of Cups. And of course, if you make more money, you will be happy. And then the Five of Swords, whatever argument. What's this argument here? What's the argument? Hmm. The argument is going to have to do with this new beginning where this career is concerned or this job opportunity. Something that you've been longing for for a while. I got the fool and the three of wands above the five of swords, above the conflict. So that's probably what's going to cause it, the new beginning. You know, the stuff you've been longing for and waiting for. And the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands. <laughs> Somebody's going to come and tell you something. <sighs> He's going to shout it. He's going to bring in the news. And the news is going to make you feel anxiety and fear and worry. It's the Nine of Swords that's going to keep you up at night and it's going to make you feel stagnant like you can't move, like you can't make a decision on what you need to do. The Nine of Swords and the Hanged Man. But now at the same time, your wishes come true. So maybe the job is going to move you to calmer waters, you know? I mean, maybe what has happened? Okay. Maybe you already know what this person was going to come and tell you. And now you're deep in thought. Hmm, what should I do? You got the Seven of Wands here, and that's how this reading started with the Seven of Wands. You're above your challenges. You're moving on to calmer waters. You, you'll make your decision. The Six of Swords and the Seven of Wands. But you will have a tall moment. Remember, change sometimes is chaotic. So maybe it's... It could be anything. It could be packing. It could be just stressing about, oh, well, where am I going to go live? What am I going to do? Oh, I got to travel. I got this. I got that to do. So write down everything you got to get done. 
Okay, maybe it'll make this towel moment a little better. Because on top of that, you got the Ace of Wands. <clears throat> You're going to have a creative new project. The Ace of Wands was up here too. I said new job. And the Ace of Swords, something new. You got new stuff happening for you. And you also got the Ten of Swords. Now the Ten of Swords is like, okay, so the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Swords. And if you notice, the Swords are in her back, you know. So this is like something that ended very painfully for you. Um, the reason probably why you wanted a new job. Why you wanted, you know, to move on. A new beginning. But this is... It's like if you're, you're carrying things that really, really, really hurt you for so many years and you haven't come to terms with it as yet. And my advice to you, darling, is to face it, no matter what it is or how painful, face it. Darling, when I faced mine, or darlings, when I faced mine, yes, I cried and... I was emotional and I was in the moment, you know, for all the trauma and all the horrible things. I was in the moment. I was there. But when I came out and I brought that young girl back with me, I had a feeling of, of being complete. I'm going to come on here, hopefully this weekend. I'm going to make a little video when I'm going to come live. And, you know, we can talk about the journey or how I came about to find the peace that I have today. And it's not always peaceful, you know, but I can bring myself back up. And I have a coach. I have a coach who helps me. I, call, <laughs> I like to call her my teacher, but she says I teach her also. <laughs> You know, she reminds me, you know, when I get all chaotic, you know, like, she said, Michelle, stop, bring yourself back in. And that means I need to stop. And I need to remember who I am. And I need to go outside, get some sun or stand in the earth. Or go quiet, be by myself and meditate for a little while and bring myself back in. Oh, and that feeling, it eases it so heavy and it takes away all that shaky stuff. So try to heal, okay? Try to fix this big load on your back because we don't have to carry it now one thing i'm going to tell you it's not that we're going to forget it that stuff made us who we are today okay it made us the person we are so the past is no longer bad it's good especially if you love who you are and when you face that past you're going to start loving you you're going to start truly loving yourself. You're going to find your inner strength. That's just the strength card here. You got a lot of courage within you. You hear me, Scorpio? You got the Page of Cups. You got the gift of intuition also. You're a little timid about love. Well, you got a lot of stuff on your back, you know? I mean, a lot of past. And you're not seeing things clearly. You might be kind of emotional what we're trying to move maybe and with this new job, whatever the situation is, you know, trying to have your life feel calm. But you need to listen to your intuition, all right? We're work and your projects, your creativity is concerned. 
Use your intuition and you need to listen to it. And if you listen to your intuition, darling, you will see things clearly. You will see things clearly. So let's see this three of swords here. Why are you sad? I don't understand the sadness here. Well, sometimes, you know, um, when we move on, like I remember I was in a relationship. This was many, many years, 30, 30 odd years ago. It was abusive. Um, I had a young child. Um, I didn't want to bring my child up in that. I knew I was going to escape and I knew I was going to leave and I just had to wait for the right moment and a total stranger helped me and this was in New York City, you know, a total stranger helped me, total stranger. To this day, I'm still in touch with him. Oh, he was such a gentleman. He still is. He's married. Oh gosh, he, he had an, a really up and down life. But he was very good to me and my daughter and gave me and my daughter a safe place with no expectations. That was the crazy thing. And when it was time, when I knew that that relationship was totally severed, when I knew that that was it, and I was leaving to go back to Guyana with my baby, when that plane took off, I felt pain within me. I felt like something was ripping inside of me. I felt like freedom and then I felt sad. And I screamed that plane down. I screamed and I screamed and I screamed because I was finally free. And everybody thought I was scared of flying. <laughs> and back home, everything is a shot. You know, you want a shot? Hey, you know, and man, alcohol is like nothing, you know? I'm like, no, I'm good, you know, I'm good. Back then I was a drinker, but you know, it was my emotions, you know, finally breaking free. Finally knowing that, oh my God, this is it. I'm done. So on top of that broken heart darling came the lovers and the queen of swords. So what I'm going to say is that you will meet someone. There will be a mutual attraction. And I'm going to say it might be a Gemini. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it might be a Gemini. I got the lovers and I got the queen of swords. And just in case it's not a Gemini, it might be an Aquarius or a Libra. But I think a Gemini. So your heart isn't going to be broken for long, okay? The lovers and the queen of swords. I love you guys. You take care of yourself. And I will chat with you soon. Bye.